Oh, yeah, I just have a couple of questions. Sure, I'll try to answer them to the best of uh, my ability. Your What's name? your name? I'm Shannon. Shannon? Shannon, yeah. Shannon, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. And I tell people I grew up in Georgia, I live in Kentucky, so I'm from being a redneck to a hillbilly. <laughs> James, I'm not going to say anything not, James I won't pay it up on YouTube, but we yeah. might say something really cool. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not going to say anything that they haven't said. I just have a couple of questions. Sure, I'll try to answer them to the best uh, of my ability. Your What's name? your name? I'm Shannon. Shannon? Shannon, yeah. Shannon, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. And I tell people I grew up in Georgia, I live in Kentucky, so I'm from being a redneck to a hillbilly. <laughs> What's up? Um, you're an atheist, right? What, what do you mean by atheist? I can tell you if I meet that definition. Okay. The general definition of atheist is there is no God. That is not my def that is not my belief. So what is your def what is your definition? I don't have enough evidence to believe in a God yet. So wouldn't that be more agnostic? Uh, so in my idea, agnostic is a statement about knowledge, and I don't know if a God exists. But I also don't believe in a God because I don't know if that God is real enough. I'm looking for better evidence to believe in that God. My position isn't that there's no God. Just not sure if there's a God. My position is I'd like better evidence or a better method to get to that conclusion. So would you And say I'm totally fine if there is a God and I just don't have that way to get to them. That seems like it's a problem between me and that guy. So you say you lean, that, you lean that there is no God. I'm sorry? You lean that there is no God. No, I'm not saying that at all. I literally have no idea if there's a God. Okay. Uh, it's literally a coin flip. One side says there's a God. The other side says there is no God. It's like this in my head. And it can only be one option. My best answer is I don't know. Okay. Because that kind of negates my next question. Because the next question was, well, what evidence have you had that leads you to believe there is no God? Yeah, yeah. So that That's exactly that. why I'm saying that someone, if you came to me and said, I'm an atheist, I'm 100% confident that there is no God, I would have just as many questions for you as I would for now, literally every other person. Now, here. my next question, I'm going to ask you one of your own questions. You've been asking people, I'm just sure. curious how you would answer it. I'll try. What, you're asking people, what reliable test do you have to prove that there is a God? Okay. What reliable, what reliable test would it take to prove to you that there is a God? Okay, if it's a God that wanted to have in contact with me, that was like all-powerful, all-knowing, all-loving, all-good, that God knows exactly what it takes to convince me. And the best thing that I can do is just be open to that evidence. And I think one of the best ways to do it is be willing to like have a conversation with people who do believe, not try to shut them down, not try to come out with my own authority on top of that, not try to have apologetics for everything they say, but willing to be open and work together with them on a model to like get me to where they see it Correct. and see if we can rely with it. See, and, and I guess, That's my method. And, and I'm with James, you know, as far as there is not one thing you know, we can look at a lot of things individually. Okay. And they, like I believe with James, creation proves there's a creator. Then you look at the symbiotic relationships within creation and, and the precise mathematics of the, you know, cosmos. How we can perfectly, how we can perfectly, you know, predict, you know, where the planets and stuff are going to be. When you look at all those things together, along with the archaeological evidence, the historical evidence, the prophetic evidence of the Bible, when you put all those things together, that leads me to believe that it is the God of the Bible. I can see how you see it. So does that, does that make sense? So you, you, what I would, I, I've seen you out here, you know, what's your one evidence? What's your one evidence? My only question would be, um, I agree that creation necessarily requires a creator. My question is, how do you recognize something as a creation rather than something that just is? Or something that's not a creation? You know, and I, the analogy I like to use is, you know, basically... In my opinion, all life forms are creation. Are you saying like all pieces of dirt, the sky, all life forms are creations? Well, I like life, and the animals, people, they are creation, but then planets, God created all that also, so it is all creation. It's all but, creation. Yeah, it is all creation. Empty space, vacuum, yeah, everything. God, God is responsible for it all. So my question would be like, how do you recognize a creation? Like, what's the method that you're using to recognize something as a creation? I guess my answer would be the same. So yes, right? just the fact that it is here, the design behind it. That would be proof that it exists, it, which is kind of the picture I had it, with James. Well, it is, what it I'm is looking kind for of, is proof of its creation. It is kind of, you know, it's, it's kind of like the argument of prove to me that a painting had a painting. Right, right, right. Because the term painter or painting, painting necessarily implies that it was painted, which would require a painter. Correct. Totally fine. But when I look at, say, like, uh, I don't know, like a rock, and say, this rock is a creation, 
what are we doing in our heads to determine that that is a creation? Uh, and I don't have an answer. I know what you're asking. I just don't have a suitable answer. Can I give you what I think? Sure, please do. Please correct me on this if I'm like wrong. Good, James. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I like to get yeah. feedback on this and let me know how appealing it is here. We tend to recognize creations by comparing the things that are not part design by things that are not designed. If I went to a distant planet, it's a hypothetical. I know it's a real idea. <laughs> <laughs> but if I went to a distant planet and we went there and there's this weird rock formation that looked like a perfect cylinder straight up, I wouldn't know based on its surroundings if that was a creation by an alien species or not because I don't have a firm reference of what looks like it's been designed on that planet. But in America, I can look at this tent pole and say, well, I know what tent poles are. I know the store I can buy those from. I know those created by things. Um, I can look at a tree that looks artificially, you know, bushes or like in the shape of a dog and be like, that's clearly not something that I would see in nature. I'm comparing this, something that I know is designed to something that I know is not designed. Like I have a frame of reference there. And because I have that criteria, I'm able to recognize when I'm wrong. I'm able to verify when I'm right. I can test it. I can have other people verify and get to the same conclusions as me. It seems like it's a reliable way to determine if something's created. If we live in the model where literally everything is created, what are we comparing against that to determine that that's actual creation? And if, not, if everything is created, we may not have that thing that's not created to compare it to. And if that's the case, how are we justified at saying that everything's a creation if we can't recognize if something's been created? I don't have, I know what you're asking, I just don't have an answer. Could you please words. think about Except, that? You know, that other, you have one of my cards? Yes, I got one of your cards. If you, could, if you, if you literally could put some thought into that, I know you I'd be happy. Feel free to jump in if you have an answer. I had enough of Frank. He's had enough of me. <laughs> also, I, I, know what I know what you're asking, I just don't have the words to put it into an answer. You know, if other, you want to take some time with that other and get back than, to me, I would be happy to get you know, back to you. Other than, you know, I don't say I can argue that this is not a creation. Yeah, I would need an example. If you show me an example of something that was not a creation, then I'd be like, okay, now at least now you have a frame of reference. So that's what I'm saying is, we don't have anything that is not a creation. And because of that, how do you confirm that something is a creation? That's how, do you, how do you confirm that it isn't? So, like, it's not so much proving the negative, because I can't prove something not true. Like, I can't prove the negative of something. What I'm looking for is reasons to believe that it is true. And if you're saying something is a creation, I'm waiting for evidence to demonstrate that. You're not right by default until you can demonstrate it to be the case. But if you have a... Frank! Well, I don't understand. You gotta sit down on the table if you want to have one. <laughs> yeah. Shannon, do you have one of my cards? Yes, I do. I would love to get back with you if you want to take some time and think about that. Well, I, I know what you're asking, I just can't. Frank will give you a better answer. That's why I just have to... Frank, part two! Here's what I... <laughs> Frank, listen, listen. You're an excited guy, and I don't want to talk to you, but I'm not going to talk to you if you don't have your sunglasses on. Uh oh. Just straight up. I'm I tired of you like moving your head. I know. Listen. <laughs> this is the brilliancy of my idea right here. It's just the best thing ever. And I'm just like, I don't know what, what's going on. I do have something I want to give you. Ooh. Book. Very interesting. Thank I did, you so much. I did, I did somebody that kind of kind of wrote the books. Uh, when I beat away the second greatest fly ever told. That's my business card. Thank you very much. So, thank you. I appreciate this. Thank you. Thank you. Just one quick thing, okay? If I have a blank canvas here, and a blank canvas, you, blank canvas, okay, there's no painting on it. There's no painting on it. Then I have another one right beside it. Yes. It has a picture painted on it. Yes. So now you see that this painting.